wenn hier noch Fragen I guess in full transparency, I'm kind of shaking. <laughs> um, it's a, not a weight that I don't fully understand and feel not buckling under, but definitely bolstered by a, a really beautiful, talented jury that I think um, I, I kind of can't wait to see who we all are at the end of this experience. It's kind of what you want a festival to do to us cumulatively. Um, so I'm just sort of ready ready to be changed by all the films and changed by the people around us. I think that's sort of why we're here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, Besides well, that. No, it's, a, it's, it's an interesting thing to be, you know, quote unquote, in, in charge of deciding what the best film is. It's such an ephemeral notion. Um, it's quite obviously something that's quite subjective. We could find that we absolutely hate a film, but that the accomplishment is staggering and that the feat of it, the ambition was accomplished. But you know, it's, I think to sort of like mitigate some bias and try and open yourself up to something new is the way, it's a sort of the reason that festivals exist is not just to sort of celebrate each other. It's to go like, has somebody said something that's gonna be surprising? Or has somebody done something that feels like it was really hard to do? Uh, whether you like it or not. Um, yes, yeah, so I, I think um, you know this festival in particular historically is 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 in a positive way confrontational and political, and I think that it's like very important for us to I don't know deprogram and be like fully open to newness. I think that the diversity and sort of and the breadth of perspective is is gonna is gonna provide us with some some new material that might be challenging and sort of like strange to adapt to. But I think the point is not to, uh, I don't know, I think like don't pick the one, pick the one that juts out. You know, if we all, if we all can't agree, that's probably because it's pretty good. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I don't know what everyone else thinks, but they should answer too. <laughs> it's very symbolic to be in Berlin. Berlin is a city that broke the wall, the actual wall uh, towards equality, freedom, and brought so many people together. And of course, this year with Ukraine, with Iran, with the earthquake, it feels like the whole world is disintegrating. We are all in a moment of transition, uh, especially now with Iran. And in a country like Iran that is a dictatorship, art is not only an intellectual or a philosophical thing, it's essential. It's like oxygen. So doing art and being an artist is something beyond because your existence by being an artist is put into danger. Um, that's why for me, again, it's so amazing to be here this year uh, with everything that is happening in Iran. Again, back in Berlin after all these years and I'm happy that we can gather together and, and celebrate cinema, celebrate freedom, even though there is the world seems to be collapsing from everywhere uh, and I think that's what I appreciate a lot about Berlin, about Germany, about France, about Europe in the world of consumption that now we are consuming movies and series and we can still gather together and watch good movies and being in such incredible jury that we can discuss, gather, art and culture is a fire, we can all gather together and warm ourselves up. Um, and I'm really happy to be here, to also fight still for freedom in Iran and in the world. Uh, it wasn't my decision to be here. They, I was shocked that they called me. <laughs> um, so uh, uh, it, it's, it's an enormous opportunity to have a hand in, in highlighting beautiful things in a time where that's hard to hold, you know what I mean? I, I think it's, um, it's, it's, it's the job of an artist to take a disgusting and ugly thing and sort of transmute it and put it through your body and pump out something more beautiful or more helpful, something considered and, and um, not something sort of like knee-jerk reactive. I think we're living in the most reactive kind of emotional 
um, emotionally whiplashed time. And uh, to sit and actually have a moment to like digress and look and see what people have pumped out of their own bodies and in response to the world that's falling apart around us, um, that was an opportunity that I was like, obviously couldn't say no to, even though it is daunting to tell you about it here right now. Oh. Uh, Dong,如果有  自由的國家和人民呢, okay.